almost hate to his hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly that. It's that, but except he's an ex-Special Forces. And the, and, and Vampire is right, Wolf. Yeah. Oh, well, and, yeah. Yeah. And, and his plane crashes in the middle of, like, the Ural Mountains or something. He's, he's going... Pick up going, child bride yeah. in Russia. Going to get my child bride. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're not supposed to ever like him. That he bought a 14 year old online. No, well, you don't know that at first. So you just saw oh, this guy. A child bride. Carries a picture. And I, yeah. I just want to see you one more time. Yeah. yeah. He's in the back of the plane. Which is the best thing that ever happened to me. And the plane crashes. <laughs> yeah. The plane crashes. The plane. I'm mean, upset that they're in a mattress in a cold. <laughs> <laughs> the, the plane crashes and yeah. he's in the back of the plane for the whole first half. Three yeah. hours. And, and then finally, he stands up. Unfortunately, almost everybody else on the plane is ex special forces. Yeah, they're, and they're all being picked off by they're, they're being picked off so by uh, Dracula's at Ride Wolf. Yeah, <laughs> and then he finally stands up and goes, "We got one guy up." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and he starts taking the corpses that they've been eating and makes a suit made out of bones. Yeah. So you got like armor. So yeah, you fight the Dracula. Old, super tough, taking kind of uh, uh, Liam Neeson in a suit made out of yeah. bones. He cuts it blood dripping off. And he makes weapons out of uh, the. Commemorative shot glasses that he's been buying in every airport for his child. For his child, she loves you. She's always wanted to see Madison. <laughs> yeah. So at the end, we don't know if if uh, Liam Neeson at the very finds out that his child's bride is a vampire. That's probably the good twist. Because right, 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 when he, right, yeah, right when he crosses the border, there is a terrible mattress in this like room with armed guards. I just want to make love to my child bride. And and uh, if she could either be a, a Dracula or it's just terrible sex scene of an old Liam Neeson just driving into the <laughs> Which would lose a lot of things that we had, but it would be like the best scene yeah. ever. Yeah, the tagline is, bone up. Right. Bone up! <laughs> yeah, because he wears it so. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to write that for the next year and like maybe make some Becker Brothers in like 2015. Yeah, we don't know. I, I'm so interested in this Liam Neeson thing. He's such a great action star. Oh, we can have a sequel, like a, like a spin-up kind of thing with the girl. Yeah, right. Yeah. I was raped by Liam Neeson. That would be the tagline. I was sold to Liam Neeson. He then drove into me for half an hour. <laughs> but I have to pick up where his work left off. Yeah, I owe it to him. Yeah, a lot he of paid for me. And Liam Neeson is signed on to just do the flashback scenes. Yeah. Of him, like, he's, he's killing his own battalion and making a suit out of bones for him. You yeah. can't do that, Sergeant! <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what we're going to do. And he's in a Jarrell costume for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> just, just the wig. Yeah, um, she loves Superman. <laughs> I'm doing it for her. Don't talk about what the children do. Okay. <laughs> what is the secret uh, that keeps on very popular Godzilla Brothers in other countries such as uh, Latin America, for example? What is our opinion on that? Yeah, you awesome. I saw <laughs> I saw Adventure Brothers in, it was dubbed in Spanish and yeah, mm -hmm. it was awesome. And mm -hmm. they shanked Dr. Girlfriend, which I thought easy oh. voice to do. But they got a guy who sounds just like Doc Venture, but speaks Spanish. Which <laughs> <laughs> is like a voice you can't do. It's James Urbaniak's speaking voice. Yeah. So uh, I was amazed by it. But, you know, I'm a tough critic on the Dr. Girlfriend voice. <laughs> <laughs> In the spirit of your uh, Helen Keller versus Anne Frank fight, yes. who would you pit against John Merrick, the elephant man? <laughs> a beautiful woman. Because <laughs> you would just be crippled by it. The way I understand the myth, which is because from, beauty contains the beast. Yeah. The way I understand the myth, which is from uh, the, the the movie by um, David Lynch, is that he's just crippled by beauty. Oh, my brain! Oh, my brain! That if you just bring in a beautiful.